Working in behavioral health, you will have a lot of difficult patients. They just need guidance and they need ears that they could talk to, mouths that they could listen to. We're there to bring them back up, build that confidence back up in them, and get them through it. We see a wide variety of patients from autism spectrum to psychotic patients. We see emotionally traumatic patients and behavioral patients as well. We have kids on suicide watch that have attempted suicide or just come from an abusive family, you know. We have kids that come from foster care. And it's hard to see what they've been through, but they are so strong. You wouldn't even know half of those kids have been through what they have been through. The biggest thing about these kids coming in is that they want somebody to make them feel like they are a human being. A lot of them don't don't have that feeling at home. Our rooms are very different from other rooms in the hospital. A lot of times the first thing that people ask, they're like, where's the IV pole? We try to keep as little materials in their rooms as much as possible because the safety of the patient. We don't know if they have a history of harming themselves or harming others. Our beds are bolted to the floor. All our equipment is very stationary. The chairs are pretty heavy, and then our doors have a door within a door, so we always have access. They're not able to go in their closets unless staff is actually asked by them. Same thing with the bathrooms. Bathrooms, we make sure everything is safe, everything is appropriate, so when they're by themselves, nothing in the bathroom they can use to potentially hurt or harm somebody. Safety to us is our biggest goal for our patients. We don't know what they're going through at home that could actually trigger them. So we make sure we stay as therapeutic and appropriate as possible for them. We have rounds every 15 minutes. You have to know what they're doing in their room and basically you just have to know where they are, what they're doing at all times. As strange as it sounds, it's not the easy days that are the great days. Um, the great days are when you clock in and it's not an easy day. It doesn't go according to schedule, but at the end of the day, you feel like that you've made a difference. As much as the kids sound like they are so much to handle, they, they do something to you that is just, you can't explain in words. The reason I keep coming back to work every day is because of the kids. I mean, I love them. I love being around them every day. The biggest victory is their discharge date. When you see from day one into the discharge date, it brings you the most joy. Behavioral health is a challenging area to work in, but it is so rewarding. Join our team today.